Welcome everyone to this demo in which we are going to talk about that how exactly we can create the Maven project into the Eclipse here. Now Eclipse is a kind of an IDE uh, which is available there and normally we use it for kind of a software development uh, tool as in kind of a development tool there so that we will be able to do the setup and the configurations of new projects over there. Now Eclipse is usually used by the developers to write the source code and uh, here we can create new projects. We can also clone some existing uh, projects from the git repositories also and uh, according to the git plugin as per the utilization of that they can actually do the modifications, commits, merging all that activity through the Eclipse. So Eclipse also support other projects also other languages also but primary it's being used for the Java software development there. Now uh, Eclipse is something which is a quite common tool in among the developers among the Java developers and it also have the extensive support for the programming languages like Android where the Java same runtime is utilized there. So it can be used for both the Java and the Android based applications. So it provides an excellent uh, plugin M2 Eclipse where that automatically integrates the Maven and the Eclipse all together. So you don't have to specifically go for the installation of Maven. It will be automatically available there and automatically integrated within the Eclipse. Now Eclipse automatically downloads the required uh, dependencies from the remote uh, Maven repositories there. So while preparing or while working on the source code, you don't have to work on any kind of the uh, dependencies or any kind of third-party jars if you are working on a maven project so automatically the dependencies will be downloaded by the particular Eclipse here so uh, the uh, maven dependencies can be updated with the Eclipse ID itself because we can edit the palm.xml file and uh, you can also trigger the builds custom maven builds also with the help of Eclipse here so Eclipse primarily supports that how we are going to build or how we are going to work on this whole build process there and whatever the things is available and possible we will be able to do it with the help of Eclipse as such over here right so let's see a small demo on the Eclipse how to create a maven project and uh, let's play with the dependencies over there so let's log into the simply learn virtual machine so now here we have the Eclipse so we can open that so Eclipse is a uh, oxygen version is what deployed over here so once we open it so what will happen that uh, we have to launch it into a particular workspace so usually uh, this is the workspace which we can use so we can click on this one so it will open the uh, window like Eclipse window ID over here now we don't have any project so we have to create a new project here so all you have to do is that you have to go to the file new and if you want to specifically go for java project you can do that or any other object you want to create but i just want to create an, another type of project so that's why i will be clicking on the project here now here you will scroll down you will be able to see all the different kind of uh, projects over here so i just want to go for maven so that's why i have selected there so i just need to proceed next now here we have to provide uh, that what exactly uh, you know we want to go for the workspace so we are going for the default workspace here and I'm not doing any kind of customization to that point and when I click on next here so I will be selecting uh, okay that I need to create a new project so this is a particular uh, mechanism of Maven that we can generate a particular Maven project with the help of this plugin of Maven so I'll just close for next here now here we will be providing the value like group ID so group ID you can change but here I can say like maven project so that's the artifact which I'm trying to create and version according to yourself you can do like this one is there so these things you can change later on also so nobody is going to uh, have these things hard coded and you cannot change later on later on easily you can change and modify these things now once that is done so what you can do is that you can just click on finish and with finish button what will happen that the project will be automatically created in the Eclipse so if you expand here right now there is no errors as such here so if you open the palm.xml file you will see the basic uh, information like artifact ID and the group ID which we provided but with that you also see the JUnit dependencies added up there because it's a something a kind of a mechanism which is prepared in case of ID that by default it gets integrated with the JUnit so which means that it's saying that yes by default uh, the test cases will also be created in the JUnit here so you can see that app.java is the default one like a default uh, class file which is available there and in the app test.java we have the test cases which is available there and written in JUnit 
now it's completely your requirement now so you can proceed with the creating some class files and having some test cases so you can add more and more code base over here but this is a kind of a basic skeleton which is created as of now just to start the things up here so these are the initial things which we are trying to do here and uh, we are just trying to create a dummy project like an empty project and later on you can keep on adding and keep on you know increasing the source code step by step so this is a way that how you can create a basic project in the maven in the eclipse here and it also gets integrated immediately with the palm.xml file now if i remove the dependency here now dependency is very important in case of maven because if we don't have the dependency for example i remove this dependency here and save the file so immediately what will happen that uh, you will be able to see some error messages related to the uh, particular J unit here and that is coming into the app test.java. So the uh, dependencies you can add, you can delete over there, but automatically due to that the error messages will also start coming up into the particular Maven project here. So you can see here that it started throwing an error related to J unit because I removed the dependency of the J unit here. So all I can do is that I can actually remove uh, the particular dependency. I can uh, undo my steps here and do the save again. And what will happen that uh, all my dependencies will be again resolved and my test cases will also be successful now. So I don't see any kind of error messages over there. So it's very dynamic over here with the Eclipse and the way you remove the dependencies immediately it will be reflected into your Eclipse there. So it's not like you have to forcefully go there and run any kind of Maven build. It's not like that. So automatically you will be able to know that whether there is any kind of dependencies issues or any kind of uh, uh, executables which is removed from your Maven project here. Right. So that's it for this uh, demo and this is how we create a Maven project as such in Eclipse. Right. So that was the Maven project. So pretty much this is what we have and this is how we create a new project, a Maven project into the Eclipse here. So thanks everyone for this one. Thanks. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.